Chuck with Razorback Off-Road. Today we're going to bring you a little video about an improvement that we feel that we've brought to the industry and it's something we're pretty proud of and kind of tell you a little bit of the thought process behind it. So it all started out when I bought a 2019 Turbo S Velocity just like this one and uh, picked it up at the dealership and I went out to ride it for the first time and they don't come with a roof and as I had my family in it, I really started noticing or thinking about what happens if I roll this thing over, which is, <laughs> with me, it's a high probability. And one of the things that we knew we could do real easy as a company is just build another roof. And we knew that was easy to do. It's, it's just, you know, basically a flat sheet of aluminum. But if you really look at these things, there's no reinforcement here in the, in the center of the roof. So even if you do put a sheet of aluminum over for a roof and you do roll over, there is the potential that the whole center of the roof cave in on you. And, it, and that goes for the passenger compartment as well. So we played with a lot of ideas. We thought about putting in a, a bolt-in roll bar piece right here. And, uh, and then through evolution, we built our Turbo S to take to the SEMA show and we've developed a console and, and really the idea stuck then. So, what I want to start this video out with is to show you kind of what we've done to reinforce the center of the roof. And the video is going to play a little bit backwards today. So we're going to show you the console, then we'll show you our roof and put it all together and show you it. And then we're going to take it apart. And at the end of this, Chris, the engineer who designed all this, is going to do a how-to video on how to install this. But really the heart and soul of this thing is our, is our console. And we've designed this to go right up in here, I'll kind of show you on the camera, it locks in here and then it locks in on the back. And what it does is it, it reinforces the whole center of this roof. And we'll show you more as the video goes on. So I'm gonna go ahead and lean it out the window here and kind of show you how we do all of this. So you'll notice these little C cutouts, top and bottom. And we also made this adjustable. Hopefully you can see that move. And how all this works is when you put this up here, it actually locks over the roll bar. It, it pushes in around the roll bar and locks. And we actually include a tool that you, can, that you can put in here and squeeze and it pushes the two parts out and then you tighten them. But once we had the console design, we really started thinking about functionality. And one of the pretty neat things that we did is we put all these little plastic plugs in here and them are for lights. And you just literally, if you wanna add a light, a dome light here, you just pop the plug out. And we offer these LED lights as an option. Uh, we got red, or red and clear. Um, if you wanna add extra lights in here, it's, it's very easy to do. You just uh, put, your, put the plug in. The grommet's gonna go right in through this little hole. And then uh, now you got a, a red overhead light. On my machine, I did reds along the side and clears down the center and it works out really good for us. Another thing we did was we made this panel removable. So you, uh, when you get your front and rear console in, you can remove two panels and you can reach up inside there and, and pull the wires through to do all of your wiring. When you get the, our center console here, it comes with four plugs and these are just knockout plugs that you can remove. If you wanna add your own switches in here, you can do that. We give you lots of extra room if you wanna add more switches in it or more lights, you know, the choice is yours. We made all this out of uh, aluminum and then we powder coated it. And it's just something that uh, we're quite proud of and we really think it's gonna add a, a lev another level of safety uh, in the event that you roll one of these things over. So with all that being said, we're gonna go ahead and put the console in the front and back and really kind of show you a little bit about uh, the testing and, and some of the strength that we find in this thing. Well, we've installed the center console, and as you can see here, um, this thing adds a lot of strength to the top of the roof of this bad boy. So Chris right now, uh, his weight's debatable, but we're going with 215 pounds. 
uh, all American muscle standing right there on that. You know, due to liability, we're, we can't really rate this thing and say that it's going to protect you, but we do believe with all our heart that it's definitely gonna increase the structure of the center of this roof in the event that you do roll over. And it's pretty evident by looking at how much weight we can put on it. And this goes the same for the console in the rear. Well, now we're gonna go ahead and cut away and then we're gonna go ahead and put the roof on and show you what this all looks like completely. Well, as you can see, we've got the roof installed. We got the optional console installed as well as some optional uh, LED lighting on it. I kind of want to break this package down a little bit to make sure that, as I said in the beginning of the video, we want to make sure everybody's an informed purchaser so you know just what you're getting. So we sell these in three different components. So component number one is the roof. So if you're on a budget and you just want to run the roof, you can buy our Razorback off-road roof, this one here, and have high degree of confidence in it. It's made from eighth inch thick aluminum. As I said earlier, I think it's the thickest one in the industry. We feel it's uh, actually almost overkill on, uh, for thickness. We have these big industrial pinch clamps on here that, that clamp the roof down. So it's a really good piece. Also works great with our uh, folding windshield. As you can see, we have it on this machine. Then once you've purchased the roof, if you want to add the optional console, it's already pre-drilled and ready to go. You can bolt in the console. And as we showed earlier in the video, it just adds incredible amounts of strength on there. We'll even be uh, showing a still photograph of three of us standing on this roof, really just showing the strength of it. And then the third component to it is the LED lights. And we don't offer a wiring harness right now. We figured most people that are gonna put the lights in can, can wire it up themselves, but we offer the lights in red and clear. And they, they're, they're just a nice feature here. I really like it. You know, you can turn the red off and have the dome lights on. A lot of times um, when I'm cruising at night, I like to just run with the red lights on. It adds a, just a little bit extra lighting in here and it doesn't seem to bother your eyes at night. Well, that about sums this up. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. We put a lot of effort into it. We take a lot of pride in uh, being able to build these products here in Mountain Home, Idaho. I wanna thank you for purchasing them because obviously without you, we don't have work. So uh, if you see us on the trail, make sure you stop by and say hi. And in closing, I hope to see you out on the trail. Hey, my name's Chris with Razorback Off-Road. Today, I'm gonna run through the installation of our new Turbo S roof and overhead console. The easiest way to install the roof is to start from the front and work your way backwards. To do that, I am going to grab the supplied six millimeter tap and tap the factory holes on the cage. Now to tap these holes, I'm gonna use the M6 tap that we send with the roof. You can drive that with either a quarter inch wrench or any kind of screwdriver with a quarter inch socket on it. You're just wanna, gonna wanna take it easy, turn it in a little bit, back it out just a slight bit, and you will want to use a little bit of cutting fluid. We're gonna do holes on either side of the cage, here and here. So now that we've got our holes in the front of the cage tapped, we're about ready to get the front section of the roof in place. Before we do that, we're gonna lay down a strip of gasket here on the center roll bar. That is to protect, uh, keep from any rattling or squeaking. We don't want the roof rubbing on the cage. I'm just gonna reach across and make sure I get it right on top of the bar so you won't be able to see it when the roof is installed. After that, we are ready to set the front half of the roof in place. You can just set the roof in place for right now. Try and line it up so you can see the holes through there. And I'm gonna grab our M6 bolts here. They look similar to the quarter by 20, so it's important to grab the correct ones. 
They will be shipped in a separate baggie. And I grabbed our 090 aluminum spacers here. These are gonna go in between the roll cage and our bolts. I also need four black washers. We're gonna leave these loose right now in case we need to shift the roof a little bit later on. All right, now we're ready to get the rear half of the roof in position. It'll go underneath the lip on the front half of the roof. There's three bolts that go across the middle and link them together. And right now, we can go ahead and get them in place so our rear half doesn't slide off. Again, we're gonna leave those loose so we can shift the roof around if we need to while we're putting the clamps on. I'm now gonna start at the front and install all of our RBO roof clamps. You'll see the holes right along the edge of the roll bar here. We're gonna use a quarter by 20 bolt with a black washer on top. That'll help seal up the slot that we have in there. And a nylock nut underneath. As we're installing all of these clamps, the roof's gonna start to contour to the factory cage. We may need to pull down on it just a little bit but it'll get nice and tight. Now that we've got all of our roof clamps installed, we're gonna move on to the rear of the roof. We're gonna take our bracket right here and the 1024 bolts with Nylux Nylocks go through the mounting points on the cage right here. And our quarter inch bolts will go in the top to connect the roof to the mounting bracket. Now that we have our roof loosely installed with all the clamps and mounting brackets, I'm gonna start with the center section here and tighten up the two roof panels together and then move from the front right to the back and snug everything down. Now that we've got everything tightened down, that wraps up the install for our four seat Turbo S roof. Now we're gonna move on to the optional overhead console install. All right, we're gonna get the front section of our overhead console installed right now. This is actually my personal machine, so we went ahead and added the light options. You can see we put some red lights down the side and then clear overhead lights on the bottom. So on a normal install for this overhead console, you're not gonna have this wiring. It came with plugs for all of these light holes. 
but we decided to go ahead and install the lights. I ran our wiring over our roll bar here and underneath the roof. To get your console hanging, you might need to get a hand from someone else to hold the bolts on top. But we put the bolts down from the top of the roof and then have nuts on the inside. And we wanna leave them loose for right now so we can then add tension to our console. All right, after we get our front section of the center console up there, we're gonna start to get our slide bolts in here. We send the center console with this tensioner tool, and you may need to use that to get the slots to line up. But what we'll do is it slides right in here, and you can see how it spreads out as you squeeze it. That's how you're gonna get tension on this center console and squish it in between the roll cage here. I'll give it a little bit of tension just so I can get this bolt in here. And now we'll show you, if you can see, watch these slots right here, you'll see how much it actually moves. So I can get this whole thing to push out at least an eighth of an inch. So now I'm gonna use one hand with the tensioner tool, the other with the impact here, and I'll be able to add tension and then snug it down. After you tighten the first one, it, it won't slide back anymore. We put two on there just to be safe. Now we'll shift over and get the other side. All right, we've got our center console fully installed now. We did the rear half just like we did the front. Make sure you don't forget to go back and tighten up the bolts that go through the roof. You may need to get someone's help to do that, but it's very important. I just wanted to close and let everybody know that uh, this is actually my personal machine. I was the engineer assigned to this project and I take everyone's safety that gets in my machine very seriously. My friends and family are riding in it, so this project was very important to me. Anyway, I hope to see you guys out on the trail.